Friends, we've gathered here today in the presence of God with Olivia and Nick to give thanks to the Lord for this union and to share in the joy of this lovely couple's wedding. Olivia, I love you more than words could ever describe. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I thank God for bringing us back into each other's lives after all of You continue to inspire me to become the best possible version of myself. Your love and support has been steadfast and it means the world to me. You are my best friend and the only person I want to share the adventures of life with. I promise to always accept you unconditionally, respect you, and be the safe place you can come when life gets overwhelming. I will love you and honor you through all the good times and the bad. I will always support you as a husband and a friend. Your dreams are now my dreams, and together we will bring them to fruition. You are the love of my life, my partner, and my guiding star through the darkest of storms. I loved you yesterday, I love you today, and I will love you always. Nick, I know you know this, but I've been dreaming of this day since I was literally four years old. I still remember walking down the stairs in front of my entire family, wearing my Sunday best with a string of toilet paper tucked into my ponytail. <laughs> in place of my bouquet was an entire Barbie collection, with or without clothes on, and four of my best stuffed animals placed at the bottom of the stairs as my bridesmaids. Now, here I am, wearing a beautiful gown with a real veil, and real flowers with four of the most amazing women behind me. And as beautiful and amazing as those things are, you are the only thing I care about today. The day I've been romanticizing in my mind for the past 27 years is finally here, and all I can think about is how amazing my life has been since you've entered it, and how lucky I am that it was you. You always have been, and you always will be, the most valuable to me. From this day forward, I vow to make that my life's purpose to make you see just how valuable and amazing of a man you really are. I vow to keep your heart safe and never take for granted the love that we share. I vow to fill your life with light and laughter and show you my devotion with actions and not just words. I vow that you will always be as important to me as coffee, chocolate, and all the Harry Styles albums put together. <laughs> I vow to be your companion, your friend, your partner in parenthood, your ally in conflict, and your biggest fan. I vow that you will never face a day alone, no matter what is going on or how big we disagree. I will never withhold my love from you. I love, I will live out these vows to you every moment for the rest of my life. These are my sacred vows to you, my equal in all things. You can turn around. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. Wow, yeah. <laughs> You like it? You're beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> beautiful, honey. Yeah. You smell good too. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just don't, well, don't, no, don't, don't lock your knees. Keep them bent. I love you. I'll see you up there. <laughs> Yeah, that instantly made me feel so much better.
I've always told Nick that I truly believe that God puts us where we need to be. For Nick and Olivia, it was a chance to reconnect for the third time. Well, as they say, third time's a charm. And that once in a lifetime friendship blossomed into true love. And I honestly believe that true love was there all along. Now, Nick, you're my brother. I love you to death. You're my best friend. We had so many ups and downs and good memories together. You got a great woman sitting next to you. I love how happy she makes you. You can see it every single time I come over and you and I attempt to cook dinner and something ends up getting burnt. But Olivia, I, I'm very happy for the person that you bring out in him and how I've seen you grow in the short amount of time that we've been friends. I know you're gonna make a great husband and later on down the road, a good father. I love you to death. I wish you both the best. And I look forward to watching you both grow together and take on this journey we call life. What actually continues to keep Olivia and I close despite distance is the fact that she's always there. Regardless if it is great times when I am giving birth to a beautiful son, when I am getting married, when it is my son's birthday party, she's there. She's always there. And when life gets heartbreaking, she's always there. Um, so, if everyone could raise their glass. First, to love that defies all distances. And secondly, to Olivia and Nick, may you all have the most beautiful, wonderful marriage. I love you all both so much.